Are you someone who gets triggered easily by other people's words or actions? Do you often find yourself in overwhelm with those strong emotions? If your answer is yes to these two questions, then watch my video on how to sense yourself and keep yourself calm in those sort of trickier situations. Hi, my name is Zoe Whitehead and I'm the founder of The Whisper Tree. I go into schools and I teach mindfulness training to children who are struggling with those strong emotions. I also teach visualization and meditation tools in schools as well. I have adult workshops, um, which include meditation and more spiritual aspects. And I also have one-to-one -one clients that come for energy healing. I'm a trained transference healer practitioner. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about how to center yourself, especially when you're feeling triggered by certain events in your life or certain people, you know, things that people have done or said to you. And I'm just going to be talking to you on how I would personally deal with that in terms of just centering myself and stilling myself. And this is just a, a little tool that I find highly effective in those moments. So, for example, let's imagine a scenario, you know, someone at work has, has said something that, that you find they often do. So it's, it's a bit of an habitual kind of situation that plays out between the two of you. And, you, you know, you're probably finding yourself on tenter hooks before that person even opens their mouth. So they've walked into the room and they're going to say something that you know before they've even said it is going to upset you because that's that dynamic that plays out between you. So that's just an example. So you know, you feel like, you know, you, your hackles are rising a little bit and you're start, you can already feel yourself getting a little bit upset. So firstly, intent. As I always say, intent is hugely important. You're going to set that intent to not lash out, to not project out. And what I mean by projecting out is blaming others, blaming that person. Okay. And then we need to do what I call stilling or centering ourselves. It's just a l tiny little thing, but it just allows you to create that space, that gap between all those kind of more denser negative emotions and thoughts that will then drive your behavior and you, who you truly are. You need to create that space so you're not going that, down that habitual kind of mindless you know, behavior, thought pattern and behavior. So you do what I call stilling yourself. Now you can do that, you can take yourself away, just physically remove yourself from the situation. If you feel that you're gonna blow, just do that. And then just find a quiet spot where you just, just for a minute, just close your eyes and just kind of, it's almost like you go inwards inside yourself and you set your intent just to still the body. Just for a minute, just switch off and just, Go inside, bring the intention, the focus inside of yourself. And that's what I mean by centering or balancing. Now, this is a very, very simple thing, but I really um, get that it's hugely, it's really difficult to do in the moment, especially when you're not used to doing it. But the more, it's like anything, the more, the more you practice doing it, the more you'll see that it works for you. And then the better you'll become. And the better you become at it, the more effective, the more effective it's going to be for you. You know, it's, it's, it's one of those things you're not going to become a marathon runner overnight by not doing anything. You know, you just can't expect that. These things take time. They take training. It's like you're building up that muscle, that mindful muscle, you know, or that meditative, more meditative you muscle. Okay, and it's about setting your intent that you are going to still yourself, you are going to disconnect from that energy play, that power play, and you're going to center and still yourself. And you'll just see that you'll feel totally different seconds later. Now, there are tons of different ways of dealing with tricky situations. I'm just giving you something that I do personally, one of the things I do personally that works for me. Okay, and as you'll see in my videos, my other videos, there are different ways and different situations that I talk about and different ways that I deal with them. But this is one thing that it's just that recognizing that you're getting triggered and then that just that kind of 
first approach of just disconnecting from it, disconnecting from that power play, not going through that habitual, you know, lashing out and projecting because it gets you nowhere. It gets you absolutely nowhere. And then you'll have the guilt on top of that or the falling out, which you really don't want to be doing. You know, it's stressful enough as it is. So I, I hope this helped. Um, if it did, please don't forget to like, comment or share. And don't forget that I'm posting every week, every week on my channel, The Whisper Tree. Thank you.